Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the vlog. And this is going to be an unusual one, a little bit of an unusual one. There still will be some game day content, but I'm filming this in the middle of the week. Today's Wednesday. We play one nine inning game tomorrow against an in conference team, the Hassan Eagles. Um, but it doesn't count as a conference game, it's just an exhibition uh, or non conference game. And then we have two on Saturday against Central Maine Community College. Um, so we've got three games in the next few days, but I'm going to be vlogging a little bit here and there every day. Um, so today's Wednesday. Right now, we're going to get into some stretching um, and then a little surprise field trip to our home field and to see how much snow it's under. And we'll show you what a typical, this is more of a typical April, um, maybe a little bit of a bad April. So all the way back in episode one, you remember I did a little bit of this after my mini basement lift, whatever you want to call that. Stretching and being mobile, just as important as lifting. And a lot of times it's just as important as, can I see? Just as important as um, getting up in the cage for a baseball player, getting in the gym and shooting. Obviously that's important to get reps, you know, and make that second nature. But sometimes stretching, taking care of your body, treating it like a temple, just as important as that stuff. Hebrews 12, 11, for the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but it yields. Get flexible, get mobile, get stable, get all the bulls, and let's go. So our field, on our way to the field now, our field we use for fall ball, um, and then the spring if we get lucky enough to have some games. Um, is the high school field. Uh, so we have to go through the high school to uh, use their facilities. They've come through in the clutch in the past, let us use uh, their upper gym last year while uh, our gym was being renovated. So they've come through, they come through for us in the fall by letting us use the field. So hopefully, um, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we have a nice few weeks here and a lot of snow is melted, but uh, we're on our way up right now to check this field out. So to give you a little background, well, here's some background right now. You can see what the landscape looks like in Prescott, Maine right now. But two years ago, 2021, uh, lucky enough to play six home games. I don't remember when the last time before that was. Didn't play any last year, 2022. Um, hoping for this year, obviously. But uh, the two years since LP has played home games was a really good spring that year, 2021. Um, but uh, this year, kind of middle of the road, a little bit better than last year, I think. Um, but we're about to see what the situation is, what the situation is a bit field. So first look, not good, not good. We're gonna trudge through this. Uh, it's supposed to be expected, April 4th it is right now. I came up here last year, but probably about a week later than this, last year this time. Um, I think I have some photos of that. If I do, I'll roll them. But uh, took out some solid snow here and we're making our way towards the UMaine Prescott Isle baseball field, also the Prescott High School baseball field, but some softball fields down there. There's some softball vlog content. New foul pulls this year, that's nice. So we're getting a little closer here. Um, there's the booth. Kind of, you can see the drifts there. But uh, I guess right now I'm probably on, I don't know, a foot and a half, two feet of uh, solid snow right here. We're going to the dugout. Hopefully there's nobody living in there. It's really kind of awkward. All right, so update. Nobody's living in the dugout, which is good. Um, that's a solid couple feet. Obviously, there's drifts, so it's going to be different depths of different places. Oh, look. It's melting. Look at that. Oh, I almost just ate it. There she is. No bear spots yet, obviously. Um, April 4th, again. It's about 30 degrees right now. Today's not a great day for melting. But uh, in the coming weeks, you get... Once it gets above... Free, whoa, where's the scoreboard? Hello? I guess they're going to be installing a new scoreboard. Cool. New foul poles. Um, they were probably about a quarter of that height <laughs> before. But uh, we'll walk out towards home plate where I think home plate is. This is probably the highest point. <laughs> Of, of the field and it's home plate. So I don't think I'm gonna get down close to home plate. I can sort of see where stuff is. If I line up where the foul poles are, eyeball it. This has gotta be around home plate right here. In the coming weeks, you know, maybe a week it's gonna look half this bad. You're gonna start seeing some bare spots and it really goes once it starts going. Um, should've brought a shovel up here. I do have one in my car, but I'm not going back. 
So that's it. That's reality for you mean Presque Isle baseball, North of Ordinary. Got to say that. Got to put that in there, North of Ordinary. But there's a softball field down there. Same story. But, uh, yeah, so in, in a month's time, this will all be gone completely. The landscape will be completely changed. Right now it just looks like a white desert. But uh, in one month time, there'll be baseball on it for high school. We're hoping that in three weeks' time, there will be baseball on it for college. Um, and that is very wishful thinking right now. But uh, it's actually, actually April 5th. I had the date wrong. It's not April 4th. That was yesterday. April 5th. I think I was here on April 12th last year. So 51 weeks ago, I was here, and it looked a lot different. Just one different uh, one week can make a make a huge difference but uh yeah that is our field or lack thereof it's about buried under a couple feet of snow right now in spots two three feet of spots yeah this is the day the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it it is thursday april 6th and we head down to hassan today to play one nine inning game at 5 p.m right now i'm headed to class we leave Campus at 1230 in Vans. So sorry, there will be no bus content uh, on either this game or the next game. We go, uh, we take Vans to CMCC on Saturday as well. But uh, <laughs> that's today. Yeah, let's get down, play some baseball, get outside. Should be a nice day down there. It's not a nice day here, as you can see. We got quite a bit of sleet last night. Nothing like a little April sleet. And uh, so yeah, that you know, didn't make me very happy, but it's all right. Uh, it's gonna be nice next week. It'll all melt eventually. But yeah, I'm headed towards uh, class right now, 10:59 for an 11 o'clock class, right on time. And uh, we leave there. Uh, teammate Kyle and I are in that class. We're gonna leave there around 12 because we are athlete students. Um, and when we play a game, it takes priority over class. Uh, that's just reality. Um, but uh, yeah, athlete students we are today. Most other days we're student athletes, but today we're athlete students. Can relate. They get the same feeling when you enter the college circle at Hassan. Even not, even if you're not playing, you get the same feeling. This weird, just sense of I don't know. It's just a weird feeling. You'll know what I'm talking about. Looks like there's some water on the softball field. Eesh. Eesh. <laughs> Good thing we're playing on turf. We're here. John W. Winkin Baseball Complex, but also the Harold Alphon Diamond because they have. Too many donations, they know what to do with, so they got two names for the name of the field. Oh, hey. Daisy Parker. <laughs> I think so. I think we're running on Rick, right? Rick I'm right here, bud. Nice. We're waiting on you, actually. Yeah, oh. dude. You little well, dummy. You little you dummy. Gotta first, I gotta get in first. You're right. Well, I'm getting in first, so joke's on you. <laughs> What a day. Really good um, team morale boost. Just what the doctor ordered today to play that well against a team. Just what the doctor ordered other than a win, obviously. But to play that well against a team of that caliber um, really gives us confidence going into the weekend against CMCC. Two games that we should 
we believe we should win. So it will be great to get back into the win column if that is possible, Lord willing, on Saturday. But uh, that's going to do it for today's part of the vlog. But it's not the end of the episode. It's a big, long episode for you guys. I hope oh, we're locked. I hope, uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it thus far. Different style of video. Decided to combine stuff. And um, no bus content, no pump it up content really yet. But uh, we'll see about that Saturday. Yeah, though. So, really good. Um, really good day, honestly. All in all. And uh, we gotta get back at it tomorrow, practice. Oh, that's loud. And um, keep grinding. Another balmy day in Presque Isle, Maine. Balmy April day, I should add. 17 degrees. Guess what? Alice is back. I'm back. She's back on the vlog. She's home for Easter weekend. And you're good that way. Just stop. Good Thank stop. You. Oh, I didn't but, tell you. Uh, I did not stop at the light this morning. You didn't stop at the light? Nope. You did it again? It wasn't even that early. Okay, it's... well, like, nobody was... <laughs> <laughs> nobody was around. Nope. There you go. The tree falls in the forest. Exactly. Yeah, on our way to uh, Central Maine Community College today to play two <laughs> games. Nice sunrise, but the sun isn't doing it. It is like good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> Pop coffee, that's where you'll be. In two hours. Couple hours. Right yep. there. The hub. You go back to bed and then. You're going back to bed? That's smart. I'm gonna try to on the van in the van, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh look, I didn't get pulled over, you know why? Because I'm going to speed falling. limit and I'm registered and I'm inspected. That's it, you only go on the speed limit because you're riding this guy. Hey, but like that's besides me. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? 19 miles down. I guess it should be Probably. Take Probably. Gas stations are open, yes. It should be. Okay, I won't say it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Nope, not gonna say North it. of ordinary, <laughs> folks. <laughs> North of ordinary. <laughs> okay, where am I? Uh, just at the stop sign again is fine. Okay. No, I'm not giving you attitude. I'm just, okay. just saying the stop sign is fine. Oh, look. Fine. There's a van. Hey, look, there's Lopo's truck. Isn't oh, that old clunker. Yeah, the one you had to start with a screwdriver the first time you dropped me off. <laughs> a screwdriver? Yeah. Oh. Well, that's the end of the video. <laughs> this is just B-roll. I don't know who they play, but they did win the whole thing. USCAA or something, right? Yeah. Oh, God. Softball does They don't have a 10 fence either. Remember last year? They were playing Word of Life or something, right? They don't. Nobody does. Nobody's got a fence. Dude, remember that game? Relay, relay! I played uh, so, so uh, me, Tim, me, Tim, Brandon, um, Ben, and one other played in the basketball court. And I played in rock and sports mode. Sports mode? Yeah, yeah. 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 Dude, I did good too. Yo, this dug out tiny, huh? Oh, yeah. That's why I go, I go outside. Oh, yeah. 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 That is literally how it is. Oh, my God. What happened to Dakota? <laughs> What'd you say? Say that again. I, I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it over there. <laughs> Did you see it? They posted. They posted. They, 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 yeah. Yeah. So at this point, I've, I've probably rolled the elevator Joy music. Joy Blake. The elevator music is probably played at this point. Hey, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs>
Oh my god. It's like that. Oh, it's like oh! 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 Get absolutely cooked. Gentile at night. I love Gentile at night. <laughs> Just got that like half lit feel. Dude, this, that janitor never leaves. He's always here. He lives here. Yeah. <laughs> Two days later. So the other night, Frick went a little too fast and went in through the wrong way, the one way, to get back to campus first. So now, Coach Nunez and Coach Honorado are running with everybody in their van as if it's their fault. Start over. What kind of effort's that? So that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys love the longer um, type of episode. I know I did. It was cool to combine everything that happened in that week since we played in the middle of the week and at the end of the week. But kind of an up and down week, obviously was a huge high after Hassan. We didn't beat him, but we were a few plays away from beating them, a team, again, that Umpy hasn't beaten in 10 years. And that was really encouraging. And then a couple days later, we go down to CMCC and get humbled. But that's kind of baseball. It's up and down. And that's kind of been our season where it seems like one step forward, two steps back. But our job now this week is to come to practice each and every day, make the most of the reps that we get in the time that we get, and be ready to go because nothing that's happened in the first 19 games matters anymore. Now we got 16 conference games ahead of us. That's all that matters. And we're going to take it one game, one inning, one pitch at a time and uh, try to do some damage in the knack. But thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. We go to Thomas College this weekend for a weekend trip.